No, this ain't nothing we ain't seen before. I knew it wouldn't be no easy road. And all they wanna do is see me fall. I can't let it go. Now it's personal. They tried to hold me down and back me in. Keep all my enemies as close as friends. When I got the email and they were like, yo, would you like to be a part of this tech in situation? I was like, yeah, immediately. As soon as I was online and, and you know, going, trying to find old games and just getting my mind back in that, that state of mind, I think, in order to be a part of it. War made me a killer. The war made me a villain. I definitely was a young kid playing Tekken early. I try not to be the go-to character guy because I feel like that's like a crutch. I try to like be the person who can just learn how to play the game in general and then you can master everybody. I can't let it go. Now it's personal. The goal and the thought process when putting together the record is really thinking like it's an intro song. Like when the game comes on or when the wrestler walks out or the fighter walks out, like this is what you hear, the lyrics, this is what they're telling you, you know, to talk to somebody in a competitive nature and let them know like this is what's about to happen. And I take what you said about me personally, almost if it's, if it's like the weigh-in, it almost feels like, you know, that like right after the weigh-in, this is what I had to say. I feel like it's certain stuff you have to take personal in order for you to know that it meant something to you. I'm trying to get in my zone. All of your energy wrong. I know at the end of the day, I'm gonna be sitting alone. You ain't wanna run in the mate. You shouldn't have sit at the throne. I didn't have like a lot of brothers and sisters when I was younger, so I was playing with my mom for the most part. She actually brings that up often. Remember when I used to beat you in Tekken? I said, really? In front of other people? Mm -hmm. That's cool though. 